Hi folks, welcome to Cloud Sprint. Since you have clicked on this video, I believe you are interested in passing GCP ACE exam. Be assured, by end of this video, you will have a proper plan, step-by-step -step guide, benefits with this exam, pattern of the exam, resources to follow to pass this exam. And somewhere in between the video, I'll be sharing the pro tip as well. Whatever I will be talking throughout this video, all the links you can find in the description area. So do not note down, just watch it through. You'll get all the details in the description box. But first questions, why should you listen to me? Because I passed this exam on 27th of October, 2020 and renewed it very recently on 15th of October, 2022. So I believe I can share my experience, my learnings, how I prepared and my journey and that might help you in your journey as well. After reading this certification, I'm certified for five years in a row. A little bit about my profile before we move to the next slide. I'm having 13 plus years of IT experience and I'm working on Google Cloud extensively since last five years. The exam pattern. Before you start preparing for any exam, you want to know the exam pattern because that only helps you to plan your preparation. Quickly taking you through that, you have 50 questions in the exam, which is multiple choice. You have two hours to complete them. The cost is 125 USD. The recommended experience is six plus months. It's not mandatory. If you are a student, you can appear as well. There is no prerequisite as I already mentioned. This is the format of the exam. The next part is, what is the benefits of passing this exam? The first benefit I see is membership to the Google Credential Holder Portal. It's a global portal maintained by GCP. Once you pass the certification, your profile is posted on this website, which can be accessed globally by anybody. Let me quickly show you how it looks. When you come to this link, you'll see that across the world, there are 32,993 people are certified, okay? Suppose you are somebody looking for Google Cloud Certified Engineers. You will say that, okay, let me click the certification. You may also choose as per your location, who is interested in full-time, who is in part-time, and then you can go ahead to location. And suppose I want to know that how many people are certified in Pune. You will see that 441 people are certified in Pune. Okay. So if you are hiring for Pune, you may just go ahead, pick any profile from here and connect with the person that if you're looking for an opportunity or not. So this can open up and a box of opportunity for you. And uh, you, this is one of the very major benefit I see. If you want to see my profile, you just have to write my name and you shall get it. You may check that how many year of experience this person has, what is the availability, the LinkedIn profile, the certification and details. Okay, that's the benefit I really see. The second benefit I see, exposure to all GCP services while you're preparing. That will really boost your confidence. Even if you're working on GCP, you're not going to get opportunity to work on all the services. But while preparing, you have that opportunity. That's one of the biggest benefit I see that exposure to all the technologies is something really boosts your confidence. This also sets a very good foundation for professional architect exam, which has a very greater career. Next thing is again, Google certification and batches to be used in your profile for visibility. You can use it in your LinkedIn, in your resume. This definitely sets your profile apart from other candidates who have not passed this exam. So these are few benefits I see very beneficial. The most important thing is syllabus. You may follow this URL to know the exact detailed syllabus, but let me summarize it for you. First thing you need to know how to set up an org, resource hierarchy, policies. You need to know billing account creation, budgets, alerts, GCP CLI, and cost estimations. IAM policy is very, very important. You need to know you know it by heart. Compute choices, storage choices, networking, bucket lifecycle and monitoring resources. If you look carefully, any ops engineer, any cloud engineer need to know all these things in detail to run any application on the cloud reliably. This exam is testing mainly on these topics. Now the most important part of the video is how do you prepare for it? So in this channel only, I have myself prepared a 
playlist called Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer Exam. It is completely in line with the courseware and you may follow all the episodes of this particular playlist to be prepared for this exam. I have I have made sure that all the topics are covered via lab. So you may get the real world experience as well, not just the bookish lab. This is coming from my five year of GCP experience. This could be a good starting point for your preparation. Second resource I will recommend is a course by Ranga. It is one of the best seller for Google Cloud certification exam. You may purchase this course on Udemy. Third and very important resource is Google Cloud YouTube channels. Do subscribe to Google Cloud Tech and Google Cloud Channel. The kind of information you'll get from these two channels, you're not going to get anywhere. It's an official channel and they have all the detail and you must follow it for your future career as well because whatever services comes, these channels are the first to cover them and launch them. And this will really help you in uh, preparing your exam as well. With this playlist, Ranga's course, and these two channels your preparation time will finish and you'll be looking for an opportunity to apply these learnings to questions so what kind of questions will be asked the next resource talks about that the next resource is awesome gcp by satesh vijay it's one of my favorite channel to go through in the last phase of my preparation because you'll have the knowledge now after going through previous three resources you'll be looking forward to apply your learnings to the questions, how to appear for the exam. This playlist will help you and train your mind that how to apply your learning while answering the questions. It is like highly recommended and you must go through his videos. And this particular playlist where he talks about the associate cloud engineering exam. Once you have appeared this as well, you may purchase this from WizLab, which is the Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer questions these practice tests will tell you that how prepared are you for the exam once you are scoring 80 85 percent in every attempt you're good to go after that you may book your exam and appear for it at the end pro tips very important book your exam in advance before starting preparation if you want your preparation to be on track this is the key you will never be fully ready and then book the exam you need to pressurize yourself that that date is appearing and you should start your preparation. That's my first pro tip. Second is practice, practice and practice. Tens of page of theory will not explain something what you can learn yourself by practicing it. Please make sure you practice before you appear for the exam. Otherwise, it makes no sense if you just pass the exam and you don't know the detail because when you appear for interviews in your career, you will be drilled upon your technical knowledge, not just on certifications. While preparing, do practice every day, right? That's my second pro tip. Start the exam with very relaxed mind and take a pause after every five questions. Once you answer the five questions, you should look around here and there on the screen relax your mind and then again go ahead for the five questions this will keep your concentration alive for two hours and you can give your best shot in the exam in a nutshell just try to answer what question is being asked do not assume anything that's the key next is while choosing options focus on available options do not worry for the perfect answer you could run into questions where you might feel that this is not the right answer right answer is something else do not worry you just have to focus on the available option and answer the closest one the last pro tip is read questions very very carefully one question can be answered for other right so while you're reading the questions be careful and think it through that what do you ask the same kind of question in the in last list if it is you can go back and verify that question as well so read questions very very carefully so stay focused and i'll be making regular videos about uh, gcp ace exam to help you to pass this exam and anything just uh, write in a comment subscribe to my channel and thanks very much for watching this video